What's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Malt. So happy to be here with you guys today. As you can see, we are on our Town Hall 10, guys, and I'm announcing the second season of Chasing Champs. That's right, guys. We are going up into Champions League, and we are going to go after it hard. I'm not afraid anymore. <laughs> because I've been there before and I know that we can get there and we're gonna push up hopefully we can get up to like 3400 or something along those lines um, and just go just push and see how we do um, I hope that you guys enjoy this obviously a lot of y'all know that I am more of a farmer than I am a trophy pusher so we're gonna be using balloonian we'll be using quadrilunian we'll be using some go wipe we'll be using all of that and for those of you who saw this base build video guys earlier today you would have seen that I was in gold one and I am up in Crystal 1 right now, practically entirely off of uh, off of defensive wins. Look at this. We're going to go in here, and we're going to look at this, all right? So we've got 20 wins right there, or 20 trophies, 19, 22, 23, 28, 18, 26, 30, 29, 26, 33, and 20. Guys, we have not lost yet. This other one from 21 hours ago is not when I made the base. I made the base right here, and we have not let. We have not lost. This is a unbeatable base right now. Um, and a lot of people are attacking with some pretty serious stuff. This guy attacked with 24 max level giants. Guys, let's go ahead and watch this thing and see how we do in it. Uh, so he does have 2,000 Dark Elixir available. Um, he's dropping off one of his giants right there. We've got a bunch of traps over here on this left side uh, in between the uh, air defense and the archer tower. Now the thing is, he's dropping down that heal spell, but it's not going to help because our Inferno Tower is going to just continue wrecking him. There goes some of his giants right there, and there goes one more. So we only lost three with that. But the Inferno Tower is doing some serious damage on this. I don't know why he thinks heal spells are going to work against that, but they're not. <laughs> <laughs> which is so funny. So it is still there, and they are getting healed up now, so they were able to take out that Dark Elixir as well as that Air Defense. Um, he is attacking over from the right side as well, which shows that he was not just going for that Dark Elixir, because if he was just going for the Dark Elixir, then he would have attacked from the left side solely. So he's getting in there. He's trying to get the rest of that gold. He does actually get an okay amount of loot, um, but generally you would think that he would uh, wait and attack a better base with more loot than this one, which is pretty challenging. So I definitely think he was going for the core. He was trying to go after it, and he wasn't able to get it. Um, again, if he was going only for the Dark Elixir, he would have just attacked from that left side. But as you can see, he only gets 47% so close. If he had saved an archer and dropped it up there, he would have gotten everything that he needed. Uh, he, he probably would have gotten 49% because the mortar would have killed the rest of it. So we did really good on that one. Uh, let's go ahead and check out another defense. Uh, let's see how this one went as well. This was a barch with some giants, and it actually had uh, all of them are maxed out. So we are facing maxed out troops, guys, right now, uh, but they're not able to take out the base. So he's using the giants as a shield, obviously. I would have thought he would have dropped uh, giants, then barbarians, then archers, but he actually does it a little bit differently, and he gets the aggro with the archers, which doesn't seem too, which doesn't seem too smart. He's going to go ahead and drop that jump spell right there, and our... Uh, <laughs> our inferno tower is going to absolutely melt all of those troops that were coming in they were not able to mess with us whatsoever uh, the inferno tower does get taken down because he has a level 30 king up in here doing work uh, but once again the inferno tower is focused and going to town on these troops he again is only able to get 42 percent and we're going to go on back here. Uh, we do have a barch trained up, guys. And right now I am barching up to Masters. Um, <clears throat> obviously, we, uh, <laughs> obviously, we've got 200 more trophies to go to, as you can see. Uh, right there, we are at exactly 2,400 from defensive wins. Uh, let's go ahead and get these things right here. So the people ah, actually, actually probably should have left them, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and find a match, guys. Because I am winning so much on defense, I'm leaving it open so that hopefully people will attack uh, and get... I really want people to get less than 40%, if I'm honest, uh, because I don't want them... I don't want to get a shield because I want more people to attack so that I can get more, 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 more trophies. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and look for a better base, guys. And once we find a base worthy of attacking with our Barch attack strategy and our heroes, and we will go after it. And I'll be back with you all in just a couple seconds, all right? So hold on tight. 
All right, guys, so we are going to go after this base. I'm going to go ahead and take out this mortar right here, and we are going to attack from this top portion uh, and see if we can get up in here to, uh, to the town hall. We are going to drop off our king, and we are going to drop off our queen as well in just a couple. Oh, giant bomb. Thankfully, we didn't drop off all of our barbarians there. Uh, so our king is in there. All of our barbarians are running in. We're going to get our... Oh, I didn't mean to use my king's ability. <laughs> That's okay. He's raging up in there. Hopefully they will get into the center of the base. The queen should head up in there as well. The king still got a good amount of health. Uh, once we get up into the center of the base, we are going to be able to take out that town hall, which is going to be super, super important for us. We do have a lot of troops. Our king is down now, but we've got archers galore working their way around the base. Hopefully the queen will start attacking one of these walls, but she does not. She is working her way over. She's going to take out that archer tower, and now this mortar, and then now she's going to head into the center, yes, and go after the town hall, guys, this could end up being a 50%, um, which is going to be good for us, she is actually being focused right now, so I'm going to go ahead and use her ability right there, and it doesn't look like it's going to be 50%, but we do get the one star uh, as we work our way up, we're actually going to end the battle right there so that our queen does not take too much damage, uh, we get 65,000 loot, which isn't bad at all, especially since that easily, easily pays uh, for a barch raid, guys, we'll go ahead and train up another one, <coughs> and go right back after it so that we can get two attacks in this video. Um, I do have some gems from my stream earlier today, guys. If y'all want to check out my stream, go ahead and do that. It is twitch.tv forward slash gaming with Molt. We streamed for about two hours today. We had 1,300 viewers, and it was a lot of fun. I had a blast hanging out with all of you guys who were in the stream. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and cancel out some of these barbarians until we get exactly 240, and we will go back and attack once again, guys. Um, all of these gems and whatnot come from cash wrap so if you guys are interested in getting any sort of free gems and whatnot check the description for that let's go ahead and attack and i'll be back with y'all in just a couple seconds hopefully we can find a base uh with a town hall snipe that we also can get two stars on that has a good amount of trophies sorry <laughs> all right i just sounded so dumb but uh can we get this i don't know guys what do y'all think well we do have all of our lightning spells so let's go ahead and take out this mortar right here and this mortar right here and we are going to attack fairly heavily from uh, the corners of... Come on, I'm not trying to zoom in. I'm trying to lay down my... Wow, I just almost dropped my other lightning spell. So we're going to drop off our barbarians right here, throw in some of our archers, and then hopefully uh, we can get up in there and take out that town hall. We'll drop off our king and our queen over here uh, since there is a wizard tower over there, and hopefully they will take them out. We're going to wait for these troops to come out. We do have another lightning spell that we can use on them. Come on, troops, hurry up. There they all are. We're going to take them all out right there. And again, we're going to attack pretty heavily from the top of the base. He does have a wizard coming out, but that is not going to do that much damage to us. We are definitely going to be able to take it out. Um, once again, all of our troops are heading in. All the splash damage is pretty much gone. We're going to use our king's ability right there. Hopefully get up into the core of this base. The queen is in there as well. She is going to take out that expo, which is going to be huge for us. And now she's going to work her way in on the town hall. We've got so many archers just working their way around this base. This base is upgraded very, very well for town hall 9, but it is organized quite poorly in my opinion. We've already gotten that 40%. We've got a pretty large group of troops working their way around. We're at 44% right now our queen is doing good she's going to go take out that dark elixir for us as well we're going to go ahead and use her ability right there 46 percent for us when she takes that out we are at 48 and then they are going to take out that gold storage is that going to give us a 50 i'm not too sure hopefully she will go after this tesla as well there's a 50 percent we're going to end that battle right there guys and we're going to get 23 trophies that is huge that is epic and 2200 dark elixir guys so that's going to be it guys we are working on chasing champs right now i hope that you guys are excited for this definitely leave a like down below um, and as always guys make sure that you keep calm and you clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.